Hello, Dr. Al here. This is just a quick video to show you how I'm using flux lines in NinjaTrader to look at the new offering of Fitbit. First of all, for any IPO, the first thing anyone should do is get an Exco chart for it. That Exco chart for Fitbit shows the possibility of an early rally. When properly instrumented, though, the flux line chart can show you why a stock is doing what it's doing, and that can give you a trading edge. This is a Ninja Trader chart with flux lines on it. This is the day of the IPO. And there was an initial spike, and then prices settled around an average of 30, dipped a little bit below. Now, this chart is laid out on a wheel of 36. Most new stocks trade on a wheel of 36. And there are various lines on this chart. These diagonal lines here coming up are, and down here are moon flux lines. Uh, this one coming up all the way over here is the moon plus 180 degrees. Uh, I have also put on this chart, besides the moon flux lines, the heliocentric uh, flux lines for all the planets uh, plus the node. Uh, so, for example, uh, this flux line coming up right here is the Mercury uh, plus zero flux line. And uh, similarly, there's one for Venus. Uh, here's one for Neptune. Neptune moves slowly, so it's flux line. This is Neptune Helio plus zero. Uh, Chiron, Mars. Uh, this is the Sun flux line right up here. Uh, Pluto, Uranus, etc. So, looking at the first trade of action, or uh, the first day of trading action, we saw that this moon, the bottom was held by this moon flux line coming up. On the second day of trading, prices started riding that moon flux line, and then they shot up to the Neptune flux line. Right here, you see the moon flux line crossing the Mercury flux line. That is the point at which the Moon opposed Mercury uh, helio. That generated this energy pull. This is a 90 degree difference. Uh, these oppositions, conjunctions, and squares will generally generate either a 45 or a 90 degree move. So. This was the energy pulse formed by this conjunction. Now, on the second day, the moon flux had moved up. Well, this is actually over a weekend. So, over the weekend, the moon flux had moved up here and here across Neptune. Interesting point here there's an old tra saying in trading that what was resistance becomes support. In this case, this resistance at Neptune, when the moon crossed Neptune, then became support. Uh, and that fueled further rally. And notice the average price up here at the top started running in trouble right up here. Uh, so this energy pulse started petering out. Didn't quite make it up to Mercury here. Uh, but, it, so, but you can see that sort of trapped between this mercury line here and this line here. And then if, you, um, if you've looked at uh, uh, any of my stuff, you know a seven move of a chaos clamshell. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we just start getting some pullback. So it's pulled back down in here now. Uh, and as it pulled back, it did get a little support. I like all this uh, uh, 
kind of backwards before it because this is a downgoing flux line, but prices tend to hold above it. And yesterday they just kind of shattered around the Mars flux line. But then this morning they got up above the Sun flux line. When you have this cluster like here, you'll tend to get congested. But what I can tell you right now is here's a move one, we're in a move two, there are seven moves in, in a chaos clamshell. Uh, if prices get above this flux line and start riding above it, uh, prices are probably going to continue quite a bit higher. But I did want to show you that the flux lines in NinjaTrader are an incredibly valuable tool. And uh, we're still working on getting them released. There's lots of work to be done yet on the code. But I could not pass up the opportunity to tell you, or to show you uh, something about handling a new stock, a new IPO, uh, and taking advantage of a little bit of scientific knowledge here. Uh, it was possible on the day of the uh, IPO, if you knew about, about planetary motion and effect, you knew about this conjunction in advance. In fact, I actually bought uh, some shares at 30 just based on, on a nice uh, natal chart of uh, FIT. All for now, check in later. We'll try to keep you posted on when this great technology will be available in NinjaTrader. Thank you.